My first year as principal here, um, my superintendent came to me and uh, we had a couple other schools in our district that were already part of the Vision Network. She gave me some information and wanted me to do some research on it and uh, see if it would be something that we were interested in doing. We thought it was a good match, um, especially me being a first year principal. It's been a nice framework to have to build your school around and your best practices and your goals and what direction you, you want to achieve in. And the other thing for our district is it aligned very well with uh, LFS, which is Learning Focused Strategies, which our district adopted about eight or nine years ago. So it fits in that framework very nicely and it's been, uh, it's been a good partnership so far. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the theoretical probability. What do you think would happen if we kept doing this, if we kept our experiment going maybe for a hundred times, do you think we might get closer to the theoretical? It would probably be closer to that because when uh, that one's 18 times and we only did it 10 times. So now if we kept going, it might be a little bit closer to that. Very good, I agree. So if we kept going, our probability would get closer to the 22%. Being a part of the Vision Network has helped our school come together and we're not the 6th, 7th and 8th grade anymore. We sit at a table at Vision and we, we work together, we share ideas, we, we're able to get ideas from other schools and bring them in. So it's not that a good idea is just happening in one classroom, it's shared throughout and we have a common goal of what's, what's best for the students and everything filters down from instructional leadership to the student efficacy, all the parts, they, they work together. So I think that we've been able over the past couple of years to bring a lot of really good ideas into our school and, and it's benefited the students tremendously. All right, eyes up. Tell me what you just shared. I think that it's created a, a growth mindset within the teachers that we all, we love what we do and we do the best we can, but you can always do a little better or go above. We have a diverse population. We serve about a third Hispanic, a third African American, and a third white. Our free and reduced lunch rate is almost at 80%. Our classroom settings are a true mix. Our special education students are served in an inclusion setting, and they're getting the same curriculum uh, that all other students are getting, which is guided by our standards uh, in the state of Delaware. Uh, it is not abnormal for us to get kids uh, throughout the year that move here from Guatemala, from Mexico, from other countries that come to middle school with no English background whatsoever. Um, so we are, you know, well versed in preparing these kids and we have a wonderful ELL program that addresses their specific needs, but they're also mainstream into the regular curriculum with, with our other students. Right, very good. So where are you going to go from here? What are you going to do next? Well, since we have such different abilities within even one of the groups, it allows the student that needs help to get the help, but it also allows the student that's helping to accelerate as well because they're teaching and that means that they're understanding and taking it a little further. And we've, that's something we've really taken from Vision was the whole growth mindset. And we all try to use it in our classrooms and you can see a complete shift in the students and their confidence and they want to learn and they want to help each other learn. They're, they work as a group now. Being a Vision Network school, uh, it has given us a focus for our school. We have an instructional focus that's school-wide that um, centers around critical thinking skills. We have a school-wide uh, PBS plan, which is positive behavior support. Every day, students are rewarded in their classrooms for good behavior, but we've, with Vision, we sort of took it a step further and we put the academic piece in there. And instead of just giving incentives for good behavior, we've tied it to growth throughout the year. Our teachers and students participate in goal setting conferences where they set goals centered around their common assessments that they take in the classroom, as well as their DCAS uh, scores for fall and winter. They look at their strengths, but more importantly, they look at those areas where they're deficient to specifically target what they can do to improve on those skills before the next assessment. That's been a big piece that we've done here at Georgetown Middle through Vision. I think that we're going in the right direction. I think we're putting everything in place that we can to help all of our students, our diverse learners, reach their goals and become successful.